What is up Elite Algo members, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you guys can trade with Elite Algo. So this is a strategy video for Elite Algo. This, if you guys have not watched the course video yet that teaches you exactly what every single feature in Elite Algo does, you guys have to go watch that first. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. But this video right now will teach you exactly how to trade for the algo in the markets, whether that be Forex, crypto, or stocks. So if you guys are excited, let's get into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys, I hope you're excited because now I'm going to show you guys exactly how you guys can get a high win rate with Elite Algo using this strategy. Now, before we get started, you have to understand that there's four types of trading out there and you guys have to pick which one is best for you. They all work. They all work amazing. It really just comes down to preference. So which one is best for you? Now, looking over here on the notepad that we have on the screen right there, guys, we see that there is four types of traders. There is scalpers, day traders, swing traders and investors in the market. Basically, I'm going to explain the difference between the four so you guys can better understand exactly which one you guys should be using yourself. So if you want to be a scalper, this basically means that you are trading and the trades are lasting anywhere between a few minutes to maximum two hours. So this is best for people that are actually on the screen 24 seven looking for opportunities and looking to make quick scalps in the market. The next type of trading is a day trader. This is somebody who comes in around the morning when the market opens, looks at the chart, sees if there's an opportunity. If there is an opportunity, that trade will last throughout the whole day, usually closing before the market closes. This is very important. Next, guys, is swing trading. Swing trading, in my opinion, is the easiest type of trading for beginners to master. The trades for swing trading can last anywhere to the next day or even up to a couple of weeks. And this is also best if you're a very, very busy person. So if you have a lot of work going on, you're working a nine to five, you're still trying to get into Forex. This is the best way of going about it because you're not going to be glued to your screen at all times. Realistically, you're only really looking at the screen maybe once a day. And the last type of trading we want to talk about is investing. And that's basically when you are looking to invest in the markets, right? You're looking to see exactly which stocks are the best investment or cryptocurrencies, for example. So you're buying into it and then you're waiting a few months before you sell because you're looking to get the maximum amount of money in your investment or even in the long run, guys. So now that we understand exactly the difference between all these four types of trading, this is the time where you guys have to pick one and understand that once you pick one, you need to actually master it. So you need to take 20, 50 trades on a demo account until you get comfortable with that type of trading. Once you do that, only then can you be successful trading once you've mastered that type of trading. All right, guys, let's get into the strategy. So for this sake of this video, I'm just going to have the chart on the one hour time frame. But again, this strategy works every single time frame available on TradingView. Now, this is what we have to do here. We have to understand that Elite Algo is a trend trading system, which means that it is best when used in heavy trends, either to the upside or to the downside. If you guys don't know how to read trends yet, let me show you guys exactly how you guys can do that right now very quickly. All right, guys, the first way to determine which type of trend you're in is very simple. What you want to do is simply just look at the chart and then over here, you want to zoom out a bit. So either you're using your phone or your laptop, this works the same way. You just want to zoom out just a little bit, as you can see. Now, clearly that we can see that the price has been going from the top left to the bottom right, which basically says suggesting that right now we are in a downtrend, right? So we only want to be following the sell signals at this current time. As we can see over here, if we were on a different chart, that's most likely an uptrend. Let's try to find an uptrend. We can see right here, guys, that the price has been going from the bottom left to the top right, meaning that this chart at this time was an uptrend. So we want to only be taking the buy signals at that time for this market. Now, there's also other ways that you guys can determine the trend, which will help you as well. You can also use the certain features inside the algo. Let me show you guys a couple of the features real quick so we can just understand. The first one we can use is the trend cloud. As we can see, the trend cloud right now is red. This basically means we are in a downtrend. This is very simple. A second tool we can use if we go into the settings for elite algo, just recently just right click a signal, go settings is you can go down here to where you have auto trend lines, click this on 
and now it's gonna give you a trend line. And based on how the trend line is sloping, you can tell is it in a downtrend or is it in an uptrend. We can see very clearly that right now we are currently in a downtrend on this trend line. It's very, very simple to use, but you have to understand exactly what type of trend you're in so you can start trading with the trend and never against it with Iliago. Rule number two, guys, you want to be following the signals as soon as they happen on the chart. So for example, right now we can see that we were in a cell right here, right? We do not want to enter the cell if the candles have already printed. So if the candles were like right here, for example, and you just saw the signal, you missed the signal. You cannot trade anymore. You can only take the trade when you see the signal pop up. This is very important. I see a lot of people, they use the indicator. They see, okay, we have a sell signal, but they're actually over here. And then they take a trade over here when they're not really supposed to, even though this end up in a winning trade. You're not supposed to do that with the algo. You're supposed to take the trade as soon as the signal happens. Now, if you're consistently missing signals, let me show you guys something you can do real quickly so you can understand and never miss them again. Simply just right click a signal. Then you want to go add alert. Then over here, what you can do is simply just select the condition, Elite Algo Premium, and then any alert function, you can go for any signal by sell, any signal by smart buy or smart sell or, or the regular sell. So you can click that, for example. Then over here, you want to go once per bar, and then you can pick your expiration. So mine is open-ended, which basically means that it will never end. And then all you got to do next is go to notification, select the type of notification that you want to use, Right, so you can notify in your app, your email, or it can show a pop-up inside Trading View, and then you can just simply write a message here: "Hey, I have a notification on this crypto pair, on this forex pair, or on this stock." And now it will alert you every single time a new signal has popped up. All right, now rule number three that you want to use is you want to make sure that you are trading with confirmations always, right? So you don't want to trade these smart sell signals or smart buy signals blindly. You want to make sure that you have at least a few confirmations to give you more confluences so you know that that trade will actually happen and will do very good. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So a couple of the confirmations that you guys can go, but not all of them. I'm not going to go through every single confirmation here because there's plenty that you can use with an elite algo. I'm just going to name a few that work for me and that I like to use. So for example, right here, we have the Lee oscillator. It's showing that we have a bearish divergence, which basically means that the price can start going down, right? That's confirmation number one. And then we get the smart sell signal. And then we also have a red trend cloud. That would be confirmation. I have three confirmations right there telling me that, okay, the price can start going down and this is a good trade to take. Another one of my favorite confirmations that you guys can use on your trades is actually the volume profile. Again, if you guys don't know what the volume profile does, please go to the, back to the course and watch the course because it explains in detail what every single feature does inside Elite Algo. Now we can see with the volume profile right here that this area right here is the highest key resistance area. So this is giving me confirmation that the price is gonna have a hard time breaking this area because we are at the strongest level on the volume profile. So automatically, I'm assuming that the price can start going down because we have a major resistance over here. Now, looking at the oscillator, we can also see right here, guys, that the price has approached overbought levels and has started to go down because the ribbon turned red, right? This is another confirmation that we can use. So now we have three confirmations on this trade. Again, we have the volume profile. We have the red trend cloud. We have a smart sell and we have our oscillator telling us that everything is bearish, guys. If we want to add more stuff, we can again go to the settings. Another thing we can add would be like the dashboard. We can simply turn on the dashboard. And once it pops up, we can see if it's bullish or bearish on this chart. We can see that right now it is completely bearish, which basically means that's another confirmation telling us right now that we are very likely to trade with a trend, which basically means that we are very likely to have the algo make us money, right? So we go down here. We simply just select the take profit and stop loss levels so we can set our risk management, right? We always want to have a stop loss and a take profit in place when we want to trade. It's very important. So again, the algo recommends a stop loss, the take profit levels. We run this trade. The price is going to start to go down and eventually hit our first take profit about right there, guys. So the price hit our take profit right here, and now we just won that trade. 
I'm gonna show you guys one more style of confirmations that I like using, and this is the Elite Algo um, breakout filter right here at the bottom inside the oscillator. And we can see right here when the candles turn green, that basically means that there is a massive volume to the upside, or when the candles turn red, there's a massive volume to the downside. So we see over here on the breakout filter that it just turned green. We got a smart buy over here. We have the auto support resistance from the indicator. So you go over here you turn on the auto support resistance we can see that the price came down hit a support level and bounced back up and broke through a resistance so i know that the price is most likely to come back and hit this little resistance before coming down or breaking through this one and hitting this one over here so what can i do here i can simply set my own stop take profit and stop loss too if i so choose i don't have to use the ones in the algo if you're a little bit more experienced so if you like to set your own, what I most likely would like to do is take the stop loss, put it behind a certain structure area. So for example, we see that the candles are around this area of structure. So I like to put the stop loss slightly below that, right? Something like this. And I set my take profit targets for the resistances. So for example, take profit one will be here, take profit two would be right there. And then our final take profit would probably be up here at this resistance. And then I can just simply run the trade because we have, again, a lot of signs showing us that this is very bullish. We have the breakout filter, we have a smart buy, we have a green trend cloud, we have the support resistance, we have the dashboard showing that's all green on the, all the time frames down below. Simply now we just run the trade, the price comes back down, no worries because we know that we have a support around this area. And then the price is gonna start to shoot back up and just hit our take profit too right here. Very, very simple guys. That's pretty much it for the Elite Algo strategy. Again, it really just comes down to using a bunch of confirmations that are already built into the Algo for your trading and not just blindly trading the buy and sell signals that you see on the chart. Now, one last thing I want to mention for this strategy, guys, is that I'm going to get a lot of questions, so I'm just going to include it in here, that what is the best sensitivity to use? There is no best sensitivity, guys. This is completely preference and based on your type of trading and what you like to do. I personally like the sensitivity of 3 or having a sensitivity of 1.5. I hover between those two sensitivities because I find those are the best ones when I trade. Or if you guys don't want to simply pick a best sensitivity for you, we can simply just check on the all sensitivity feature and then just simply check on the presets that you prefer the most. You can either keep it on short term or keep it on midterm. It's really up to you again. There's no best sensitivity, but this makes it a lot easier and you guys can just follow that if you can just leave it on auto sensitivity and then pick one of the presets you want. But if you want your own sensitivity, again, you can just uncheck this pick the one that you like the best and that's pretty much it guys so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below if you don't have elite algo or you'd like to get it i'm gonna leave a link in my bio down below so you guys can go ahead and grab that as well so you just sign up on our website to get access it's very very simple other than that guys thanks for watching have yourselves a good day